Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to a brand new video, and in today's video, I'm going to be trying to show you where all the locations of all the red boxes slash super caches are, or caches in general. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So for the first one, you're going to need to head through at campsite A, and head on over to campsite B. Once you get in there, you're going to just want to follow the trail a little bit until you see this little green path heading up. You can just run up that path. And once you get all the way over to the red box, should be right at the end. So there you go. There's your first cache. And by the way, if you see that they're empty, it's because I've already gotten these. So on to the second one. So for the second one, you're going to need to head on over to campsite D or the third campground area, whatever you want to call it. Go to the river, follow it up, and when you see the waterfall, just go ahead and walk in behind it. Okay, that's just what you want to do. Once you get inside, you're going to need to head on off to the right side, and there should be another cache waiting for you. So there you go. There's a second one for you. So for the third one, you're going to need to head on up towards the RV park. So just basically head out to the next section. And once you get there, you want to go down this little green path, which should be beside Trail B. And it should open up to a cave. Now, if you are unfamiliar with this cave, you will need a flashlight to go in here. So uh, once you get in, you want to just head off to the left side of the cave. And when you see these minecart tracks, just minecart, yeah. Follow them all the way back. There we go. And then you uh, want to see these next set of minecart tracks. And then follow them for a little bit until you go up. And then just follow this path straight up until you get to the very end, which there should be another cache waiting for you right there. Again, these are all open because I've already gotten mine. For the next one, you're going to need to head out of the cave and just head up to the next section in the RV park. And once you get on up there, you want to just head on past this outhouse back behind this tree. And there should be another cache waiting for you. And there you go. There's a schnurden for you. For the next one, head on down to the lake area. This is pretty easy. Uh, but yeah, just head down to the lake area. Follow the path on over and past these little bushes and there should be another green path right here at the end And you just want to follow that up and follow it around and you should get teleported to the next location here And there should be a red box right down here. This is a red box You can actually see from the third campground section for the next one You're gonna need to head on down the lake You will need a canoe paddle for this jump on the canoe and just paddle straight across Okay, once you get to the other side jump out and just follow this little dirt path on down okay it's not it's not hard to follow at all but once you get down here you'll come to a maze now this maze is extremely easy okay you just just follow what I'm doing on the screen it's very simple and yeah right when you get to the end there should be a little opening right up here in the corner and if there's not then you have serious problems with your game but yeah just follow this maze all the way down to the right side and at the very bottom there should be another beautiful little red box here and there you go there's a whole nother one for you for the next one you're gonna once you come out from the lake just head up to the ranger station and go ahead and head on behind the ranger station and this little green path should take you right up here behind the rv park and here's another red cache for you know it's just another one for the next one head on over to the bus stop and we see these little red tree or whatever that's sticking there just follow this path down uh, it's not hard just follow the path to the end there's only one way to go and then you'll get another super cache or secret cache for this next one you're gonna head on over to the golf course and follow this little green path right over to the side where you will see a golf hole or with a flag in it and a red box that's locked head on up to the little putting green and grab a golf ball and just hit it down uh, just hit it down towards the area and once you do get it actually get it down here then go ahead and try to put it in the hole as best you can. I unfortunately missed on my first shot. I don't know how that missed, but somehow it missed. So yeah, just go ahead and put it in the hole. And uh, once you get it put in the hole, then the should be a little duck come out and uh, unlock the box for you. And there you go. There's another cache for you. Well, now that you're still at the golf course, head on up to the driving range and just walk this little trail all the way up to the very top until it basically turns and then just there should be a little green path that you follow out just follow that green path up this will take you to the podium section and you can just go off to the left side there and there'll be another red cache there and it's locked so just go ahead and there should come up with a little hand thing to hit and just go ahead and try to put it in the hole that's all you got to do it's very simple except for the fact that sometimes it glitches out and all just bounces on top of the hole i don't know why it does this but it did it for me a few times. Yeah, just try to put it in as best you can. Just try again. I mean, like that one there was pathetic. But, uh, yeah, eventually you should be able to get it in. 
and once you do another little duck should come and unlock the box for you and once he does you'll get some more money so now for this next one go ahead and uh head on to the actual golf course and you can just follow this little path all the way to the end and don't get stuck on the trees like i did but just follow this path around till you see a little green path heading off to the right side uh note you will need uh probably the best golf clubs for this now mine is actually open so i'll just actually go ahead and close this for you but uh yeah it'll be locked again just like the other one by the podium but you will need the best golf clubs for this to actually make it across uh this is a pretty pathetic shot but uh there you go i completely whiffed but yeah this one i think is a little bit broken as well as you can see right here because it, that's not in that didn't go in but i guess whatever but anyways another little duck will come out and unlock it for you and there you go you got a whole nother one but the next one you're gonna need to head on up to act like you're going to the ski resort and you but where you're gonna need to go is actually the sawmill you don't know how to get there just follow the road to the ski resort and it'll be off to the right a little dirt path follow this path up and you will actually need the hard hat for this if you don't know how to do that just come in this room and then it should be on one on top of one of those filing cabinets and i'm gonna just raid the fridge while i'm here because i actually need a little bit of food but yeah it should be sitting on top there and if it's not then that's a problem and you should probably get your game updated but anyways once you have the hard hat you need to head on over here to where it says hard hat area and crawl underneath these rollers and go ahead and head on out the back door once you've headed out the back door just take off to the left and just follow it all the way back until you see another little red cash back here and there you go there's a whole nother one for the next one head on up to the ski resort and head on up to the second floor or second uh snow lift or whatever uh, it's past the guy with the oranges. It's all the way up at the snow cabin is where you want to go. You don't know how to get there or the snow uh, club cabin or something like that. Anyways, and don't fall down like me. That's not what you want to do. But anyways, when you get to the summit hut, that's what it's called, head on back that little path and just follow it all the way into the cave. Once you get inside the cave, your flashlight should automatically turn on, which is great. Follow the path off to the right. And you will need a paddle for this, so you should have already had that for the maze. But if you don't, then you should, I would suggest going get one. Get in the canoe, paddle across to the other side. Once you get across to the other side, go ahead and jump out. And there should be a nice, lovely cache sitting there. And this one should actually have a decent amount of stuff in it. There you go, a whole nother one. For this next one, head on up to the racetrack area and turn off to the left where it says podium. Once you get on back here, you want to go ahead and go behind the podium and you will not need the keys for this actually they want you to actually put the keys in and drive the car away but if you s just run there long enough you should be able to get by but uh yeah the keys do make it nice and there's another cache for you so this next one just go ahead and jump in any car you want or just run and you want to head all the way down to the bottom left part of the map now this one you will need the uh the car keys for this one in order to get past so just head on past these barrels right here and as you come over here you will notice that there are some bees flying around now if you have the running shoes and do it right you can't actually get past this you just have to have the fastest running shoes and you have to hug the fence the whole time but for those people that don't have the running shoes and you do have the cars head on up here and you just want to jump in this car right here go ahead and drive on down and now the bees won't bother you because you're inside a car and they can't get you once you get across it's very simple from here you just jump out run across over to the right side of the map and there should be another red cash box sitting there for you this next one you want to just leave your house and that'd be great and just act like you're going to town hug this side over here okay that's what you want to do don't hit so many cars like i did it's kind of pathetic but yeah i hit like three i think anyways you just follow this little road until you see a green path sitting off the side this one you will also need the canoe paddle again for so just follow this little path back and you should be brought to a canoe in a river just follow this river with the canoe and just paddle it all the way it takes a while i know and it sucks but you should come out to this nice little open pond with a nice little dock sitting out here paddle to the dock jump out and there should be another box sitting there full of money oh well, there you go a whole nother one so for this next one you're going to need uh, a decent amount of uh, energy drinks probably about four or five six seven maybe eight or nine anyways once you get that you need to come up here to the edge or to the very top of the city and basically run down this thing and it's very a very simple simple little trail uh just except for the fact that i screwed up there 
supposed to go down instead of up. But anyways, once you actually get to the little area, which is just down here, you'll see there's a red box. Now this one's open, but it's still locked. And that reason for that is because it's uh, 1041 in the morning. It needs to be 4 o'clock a.m. And that is dark. And the only way to get that is in order for you to stay up really, really late, which kind of sucks. So the reason I didn't actually show me getting this one is because you have to stay up till 4 in the morning and it takes a really long time to get to 4 in the morning. So have fun. You will need a watch for this by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. For this next one you're going to need to head down to the police station or it's either the police station or right across from the newspaper section area or thing. Whatever you want to call it. And just run down between the uh, this fence and the trees here. Run down till you find these bushes and this little path, and it's very simple. Just follow this path all the way back. There's no way to lose it. And come up here, and there will be another one here with another time uh, location thing. It is now quarter after one in the, in the afternoon. It is sunny, but this one it has to be 9 o'clock in the morning. So we immediately just get up in the morning and just drive straight here, and you should be able to get it. But you will need the watch for this. Uh, it's just make sure you have it. I'm not sure if you can get it without it or not. For this next one, you're gonna grab your boat and drive down to the island where it shows uh, the rich dunk, uh, uh, duck. Uh, I was about to say Uncle Duck, but he's a really rich duck that lives down here on the island. And uh, yeah, basically, you just are gonna need to drive here, catch this fish, and he should have a key in his mouth. And uh, once you actually get him, go ahead and the red box should be open, and this one is chucked full of stuff. The reason I'm showing this one is because this is pretty new. So this next one head on over to the other side of the island there should be another island over here with another red box in order to get this one you're going to need to unlock this safe here as you can see there's a key sticking out of the bottom down there so what you're going to need to do you're going to need to run back to this little sign down here with a magnifying glass and uh, you are going to need a camera for this so go ahead and get your camera out and uh, once you get your camera out you're going to need to go ahead and put it on 8x zoom this is very important that you do this because there's no other way that you're gonna find these numbers and I guess you could just actually watch me because I'm about to get the numbers for you anyways take, go ahead and take a picture of that and it says 3825 and once you get these numbers you need to head on back up to the safe punch them into the safe real quick like not very hard at all and the safe will now open and you can grab the key and go ahead and you can unlock the red box for you this one is absolutely chucked full I mean just like the other one it's just got loads but anyways, I don't thank y'all so much for watching this video. Hopefully you did enjoy. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry for not uploading recently. This is It's just been busy. It's been really busy lately. But anyways, I don't thank y'all so much for watching this video. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.